Hello everyone, hope you are happy, healthy and well. Time for a very, very quick, no, not a book review, but it is an utterly boring day in Melbourne. It's boring simply because it is so cold, it is wet. And I thought to myself, what am I gonna do? I was so bored. When I'm bored, I either go to the library or I go to a secondhand bookstore and I spend some time in the bookstore, rifling through some of the books, which I love to do. And also because I like chatting to the lady who owns the bookstore because she's always a font of knowledge and she knows what I like. So she's always on the lookout for books. Okay, so I'm going to actually talk about the books that I bought. So before I talk about the books that I'd gotten, I just want to actually explain, if you don't already know, I don't usually buy my books um, from bookstores and I don't buy them new. If I can find them from the library, I'll get them from the library. If I can borrow them, I can borrow them. Or alternatively, secondhand bookstores, wait a little while. You go to a secondhand bookstore, you're likely to find that book or even at a secondhand you know, community markets, secondhand store markets, things like that, you could find your book. So there's really no reason to buy a book quite new. And besides, I'm not working at the time, at well, at this time. So I need to save money, don't I? So that is a reason why I usually go to secondhand bookstores or I just simply use the libraries because uh, you can basically find anything you want for free. I like free. So you see, why spend so much money on books when you can spend your money on yarn? But that's another story and unlikely that I'll be setting up a YouTube channel for my knitting projects or my yarn projects. So let's stick with life lessons in books, shall we? Okay, first things first, I have never read Austen. Never, never, never. Okay, before you all just hang shit on me online, um, hear me out. I always used to think that Jane Austen was really boring. I just didn't want to read about women wanting to get married and having to have these society balls and find themselves a rich bloke to get married and yada, yada, yada. But I had just recently finished reading Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and I loved it. I loved it so much that I thought, shit, what, are I, what have I been missing with these female writers of the 1800s? So naturally, I had to go and get more of Charlotte Bronte, but also I'm going to try my hand at Jane Austen. So Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice, I'm sure you've all probably have read this book. I must be the only person in this world not to have read it. Next, uh, Villette, Villette, I think it is, uh, how would you pronounce it? Villette or Villette? Villette by Charlotte Bronte. I'm looking forward to reading this. I read Jane Eyre, which I love, love, loved. So I went a bit, well, I went a bit crazy because I think Jane Eyre now is now going to be my favourite, one of my favourite books that I've got in my own personal library. So I'm looking forward to reading more of Bronte's. Uh, this one I'm not entirely sure, but I had heard about it. It's called The Collector. Um, yeah, not, not too much. I don't know anything about this, but he kind of looks very, hmm, what was that movie with, um, with, uh, oh God, I've forgotten, the, the patient, not the patient, oh shit, the guy with, um, ah, oh, anyway, I've forgotten, it'll come back to me, Anita Bruckner, Hotel de Lac. Okay, this is a, going to be very interesting because every bloody book that has won the Booker Prize, I've hated. I don't know why, but Booker Prizes and me just simply don't mix. For some reason, um, I can never get into them. But given that this one was written many years ago, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to read it. I hope. Uh, Jeffrey, you know, Eugenides, how would you say? I would say it in my Greek style, Jeffrey Evgenidis, but probably he doesn't pronounce the name like that. 
the marriage plot. I'm simply reading it because I'm reading Virgin Suicides at the moment and loving it. I've also have read Middlesex. I've got a copy of this book back at home. I like his writing, so it might be interesting. Persuasion, per, I should say that correctly, Persuas, Persuasion, oh my God, I can't even string a sentence together. Again, Jane Austen, um, I think I've seen, I've seen the movie to this one, which is strange because I don't actually always watch it, maybe I half saw the movie. Again, uh, interested in reading what she has to say. And last of all, I am a fan of this guy's writing, Kazuo Shiguro. Uh, which I have reviewed his books previously on my channel, The Remains of the Day. Again, this is quite an old book. You guys have probably already read this because, let's face it, I'm behind the eight ball when it comes to a lot of books uh, and uh, reading a lot of books. But I'm trying to remember the name of that movie that I'm thinking. Oh, he's that, he's that serial killer. And it's that famous actress Jodie Foster. Oh bloody hell, Silence of the Lambs. How can I forget that? Anyway, this book reminds me of Silence of the Lambs. You know that nutty guy, he kept he kept victims in that hole and he then cut them up for their skin. Well, there's no skin in this one, it's butterflies. <laughs> I could be completely wrong. I have no idea what this book is about. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that very quick video. These are the books that I'm going to be reading over the next few months or so. Okay, time to get a move on because there's an inspector and his parking inspector is looking at me strangely. He's probably thinking, why is she talking into a phone? Do people think that anymore? No, they probably don't. Anyway, best I get home. My husband's probably thinking, where the hell she's gone? I just said some lame excuse that I was going to the supermarket. <laughs> I was going to my bookstore instead. 